Well, you know, in less than an hour, Mayor Brendan Scott, it, he's not wanted this program since the beginning here, saying that it doesn't work well. He now holds three seats of the five seats that are going to be voting on this. So this, this vote, I guess, essentially is just a formality for us because we know it's going to be turned down. Yeah, it's unfortunate because, you know, Mayor Brandon Scott, he talks a lot about crime and violence, and I'm glad he, you know, pays attention to it, but he has yet to give us a crime plan. Uh, if you look at the aerial surveillance plane, uh, they have helped Baltimore City Police Department close well over 170 cases, which is a 50% increase in case closures. Now, that's important because back in 2019, you know, we had 348 homicides and only 275 were actually closed by the time we walked into 2020. So it's proven to be effective. Um, so, you know, this, uh, the aerial surveillance plane, they hire within the community, cybersecurity jobs. And I have to say, it costs the taxpayers absolutely nothing. And it's effective. But now, Brandon Scott's going towards the red light camera companies. And that costs taxpayers $11 million. And is it proven to be effective? Well, and Kimberly, let's talk about this. Why, why would you do this? Two Texas financiers are supporting this. They're the ones that are funding it. He keeps saying, well, it doesn't work at night when most crimes happen. But you're just pointing out to the fact that there are a lot of crimes that do happen even during the day, and the surveillance plane is being effective. So where, what's the problem here? Why, are they, why is Mayor Scott so against it? I don't know what the problem is. Like you said, it's, it's proven to be effective. Uh, my team and I have been digging around, obviously the aerial surveillance plane, yes, mm -hmm. it's privately funded, so they didn't donate to any campaigns, but I have to note the red light camera companies donated to Mayor Brandon Scott during his campaign. So I think maybe that could persuade him to go that direction. I hope not, uh, because I don't want to accuse anyone of pay for play. But, I mean, we're talking 11.7 million is one of the numbers that was thrown out for the red light cameras to be added to the other ones here. And uh, how will that yeah. reduce violent crime, though, when you start looking at that? How is that $11 million going to stop violent crime? No, I don't think it is. I think, we're again, Baltimore City, you know, the government is so good here at just throwing money at things. And, and unfortunately, Baltimore City residents don't see the results. Uh, it's a dangerous times right now in 2021. We've seen a lot of homicides and a lot of shootings during the day. And to note, an aerial surveillance plane can actually track illegal dumpers if the city government chooses to have them do that. Um, so I think the surveillance plane should stay. But again, uh, I'm not the one in government right now, right? All right, Kimberly, thank you, though. We appreciate your input on this. Thank you so much. Sure.